Hey, how are you doing? Um, right, today I want to talk to you about the serious business of swimsuits. Mainly because a few really good friends of mine have just had babies and um, a few are pregnant, heavily pregnant, and have overnight got a whole host of stretch marks. Um, and they're sort of saying, oh no, I can never wear a bikini again. As someone who had her children in her 20s and literally went to bed one day with a perfectly smooth, scarless stomach and woke up the next morning with a picture of the motorway map of the UK on her stomach, I feel the pain. So, I've been wearing one-piece swimsuits for quite some time and I love them. And I have to say, over the last few years, because of the wonder of um, fashion designers and beachwear designers in particular, the one piece, I feel, has become more figure enhancing and really quite sexy. The thing that I think revolutionised one piece swimsuits over the last few years is the whole cutout thing. Um, here is a swimsuit that I have, it's backless. Um, the sides are tapered in so you get a lovely scoop which makes your body look narrower. Um, black, very flattering, um, with lovely multicoloured straps which do around your neck as a halter neck and then at the back kind of like a bikini top and I think it cost me something like £18 which is a real bargain. But I think in general most of us have parts of our body we quite like and parts that we're not so crazy about. So as I said my stomach is my weak spot so that gets covered up <laughs> at all costs. Um, however, I'm here in a little strappy top today, I quite like my shoulders, I quite like this bit my chest, shall we just say my chest, the bit that's not my boobs. Um, and because I'm not a huge boob woman, I can wear things that are quite low cut without fear of anything popping out. So those are probably my two favourite bits of me when I'm looking at swimwear. So I'd probably go for a halter neck or a very low V, whilst everything else is very, very covered up. So one of my faves is this bright, bright orange, it's kind of actually neon. It's got this lovely zip detail, it's a bit risque actually. It's a really, really low V, halter neck and kind of backless, um, which is the perfect swimsuit shape for me. I think you could wear the simplest of swimsuits, no cutouts or anything, in a beautiful colour that really suits you and you'll feel amazing and look great, I have no doubt. Um, so actually you don't have to have lots of bells and whistles on your swimsuit, uh, lots of embellishments, just a beautiful colour that you love can do the trick. The other thing, especially for women who do feel self-conscious about their bodies, um, in the same way that we can pick patterns in our clothes to kind of accentuate something or hide something or whatever, pattern is great because it just takes your eye away from I'm gonna go back to my stomach. Whizzing down here, this is my box. I'm gonna lift it up, it's quite heavy. This is my box of my swimsuits and my cover-ups. Now this, I love. Um, this I got in the sale. Um, it's Gucci um, and this does everything. So it has bikini bottoms that tie up at the sides, a cut-out shape with the Gucci horse bit belt in the middle and it's got a lovely pattern. I mean, you can't really go wrong with navy and red, really, can you? I've also got this other swimsuit. Again, cut out. You know how I was saying I like cut out? I really like cut out. Now, this is animal print, which is, or kind of snaky print, which is interesting because I'm not a huge animal printy person, except in swimwear. For some reason, I like it. And it's got this beautiful green at the back. So there you go, pattern and colour. And if you really, really, really can't bear to not wear a bikini because you feel like your life is over, the beauty of the savviness of the industry is that we now have lovely high-waisted bikinis. I, certainly after having my children, would never have thought about wearing a bikini. But these are the bikini bottoms that have some ruching on the side and you can actually fold the top section up or down, depending on how high up your stretch marks come. I mean, I see people on the beach who 
have no problems and they're in triangle like you know the little string triangle bikinis stretch marks are out fine if you feel confident doing that that's perfect personally i don't so i just want to cover them up because i just feel bad about them and what's lovely about the top is you can kind of balance it out. So the bottoms are big, the top is tiny. So you can either do the halter neck thing, or, I was lazy, I didn't undo it, or you could just have it like a bando thing that's strapless. Those are my faves, and I wanna take you downstairs now to show you a few things that I found on the internet that are a little bit more current. Okay, so I mentioned um, surf dome, literally. This is one page of three of one piece swimsuits. Um, you can see everything, color blocking, patterns, black, really flattering, strapless. And literally, so this one, that one, for instance, has been reduced to 11 pounds 39. And it's black and it's got some lovely lime green thin straps. I mean, 11.39, that's amazing. That blue is incredible. 1049. I'm now not going to tell you the price of all of them. But yeah, look, lovely patterns, just beautiful things. So that's Surf Dome and they are having crazy sales. If you're looking for something for a holiday, this is a really good website to look at. Then I kept this one open. This is from ASOS. Um, this lady, I don't think has any stretch marks anywhere, quite frankly. However, <laughs> the point of showing you this was the lovely um, candy striped pattern in blue and white, and I always think blue and white looks really fresh for um, swimming in. And the lovely high waisted pants, which um, would probably cover all your stretch marks. Um, and that's 18 pounds on ASOS. Right, this is more expensive. This is dusky, I guess. This is a little bit more of that kind of active sportswear look, but very sexy with the zip. I highlighted this one as an example of just a really lovely simple um, swimsuit that is in a beautiful red and the white trim looks really lovely as well and really fresh so I thought that's very nice but that's obviously much more expensive. Then I wanted to show you this one. So this is ASOS as well. We were talking about pattern and it's got this multi strap thing going on. Let me just show you the back. Look, there are more than one strap, which I think is quite nice. Um, I think that's the nicest view. Though, lovely colours, £32, so that's quite nice. And this, I think, is beautiful. Um, I cannot justify this. £335, oh my lord! However, um, this would tick so many of my boxes. Let's look at the lovely lady. It's a halter neck, it's a lovely colour, it's animal print, which I only do in swimwear, I don't know why. Um, low, low cut, the knot is quite a nice detail, um, and backless. That is just beautiful, but for me, probably not at £335, but maybe Nessa Porter will put it in the sale. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, so there are a few options. Okay, so I feel I've rambled, but I think it's kind of relevant rambling. If you see something that you love, please get in touch and let me know because um, now you know my ideal swimsuit. Um, if you see one, you can um, share it with me. I hope you're having a great time, whatever you're doing, and I will catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.